All right, what's up everybody? So today what we're gonna talk about is how to get our external hard drive to convert for Mac usage. All right, so right now I have the external plugged in right now. So this is your external. When I open it up, it's gonna be empty. When you open up yours, there's probably gonna be some files on here that you have to do. It's probably gonna say, it's a uh, mindset getting started for Mac and then I clicked on it. And basically that all that does is it um, registers your um, Seagate for warranty purposes and any package deals that you get. Um, so that's for that. So what we're gonna do is the first step that we do is we're gonna go on Spotlight right here. We're gonna search up Disk Utility. After you look up Disk Utility, um, you're gonna have your Macintosh information. As you can see here, I barely have space. I work with a lot of videos and photos and that is the reason why I always get this. I actually got a five terabyte because I originally had a two terabyte, but it didn't really, um, actually a one terabyte one, and it didn't last me that long, so um, yeah. So basically this is my new one. Um, I renamed it to Yara External. It used to say uh, hard drive on there. Um, so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on erase. I'm not gonna actually click erase because I already have it um, <clears throat> updated, but basically originally it will have XFAT as a um, format and what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go all the way up here you're gonna go to Mac OS extended journaled and that's gonna allow you to um, put any files that are on your Mac into the hard drive so after that you're gonna just click on erase and what it's gonna do is um, it's going to um, reformat the whole hard drive so that you can start using it for your Mac and basically that's it that's all you have to do you can rename it um, when you do that and that's it um, it's really simple um, and yeah so if you guys want to keep on watching videos similar to this please subscribe like and comment down in the comments if you guys also have this issue with space on your Mac but there's always a solution you know no excuses guys all right bye